Uh, example number five, uh, it's a lot more complex than number four. As you guys notice, uh, example number four is very easy. We can just substitute the information that they give us and then just simplify very quickly to find the standard form of a circle. On example number five, it says write the standard form of the equation of a circle that passes through two give a point, negative four, negative two, and they also give you uh, the center. So the circle passes through this point and the center is two comma negative one. Now the center, remember, that's h and k. And because they give you a point, it's just going to be x and y. We are going to go through the same process. We are going to write down the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now you want to be able to substitute all of the information that they give you. So you want to substitute the x and the y and the h and the k. x is negative 4, negative h, so that will be negative 2, square, plus y will be negative 2, negative k is negative and negative is going to be a positive 1, square is equal to r square. The only thing that we needed uh, to find was the r. We need to find the r in order to find the actual equation. Remember, in order to find the standard equation, we need the center in the radius. So if we simplify this, we can solve for r and then be able to write down the equation. This will give us negative 6 squared plus negative 1 squared is equal to r squared. 36, negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. Negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be positive 1 r squared. So 37 is equal to r squared. We're actually going to leave it as r squared because we actually are looking to substitute r squared. Some of you guys will take the square root on both sides, so r will be the square root of 37. But we really don't need this. Now that we have r squared, we can substitute the center and the r squared into the equation to find it. So that will be x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 square and r square is equal to 37 see from here so this is our final answer remember we took the information that they give us that a point x y the center h and k we substitute into the formula we simplify to solve for r and actually in this case we wanted to be able to find r square because we can just plug that in here Let's look at example B. Same process. It says write the standard form of an equation that passes through the point 8, negative 7, and 0, 3. So we are going to go through the same process. Let me write down the standard form and see if you can actually write down without looking on the left-hand side. Remember, you have to memorize it. So it'll be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now I must substitute everything that they give us. They give us a point that's going to be x and y. They give us the center that's h and k. And remember we're looking for the radius or in this case just r squared. I must substitute all the information that they give us. So that will be x will be 8. h will be negative 0 or just 0 plus y will be negative 7, k will be negative 3, but with this negative becomes a positive 3. Or you just thinking about placing the opposite, which is fine. Now we just simplify the left hand side and that will give us r squared. This is 8 minus 0 is 8 squared plus negative 4 squared is equal to r squared. 64 plus 16 is equal to r squared. This is 80 is equal to r squared. Now that we have r squared and we have the center, so we are going to be using this information to find the equation and we're just going to substitute. So it'll be x and because this is 0, we can actually just do x squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 80. And this will be my final answer. Notice that in this case, h is 0, 
which matches here. K is negative 3, which matches here. And R will be the square root of 80. R square is 80. 